NCAA Division I, Wikipedia Article Audio NCAA Division I is the highest level of intercollegiate athletics sanctioned by the National Collegiate Athletic Association in the United States. DI schools include the major collegiate athletic powers, with larger budgets, more elaborate facilities and more athletic scholarships than Divisions II and III as well as many smaller schools committed to the highest level of intercollegiate competition. DI Schools FBS and FCS Finances Conferences Sports Men's Team Sports Men's Individual Sports Women's Team Sports Women's Individual Sports Broadcasting and Revenue Scholarship Limits by Sport Rules for Multi-Sport Athletes Football Subdivisions Football Bowl Subdivision Conferences 2 Football Championship Subdivision Abstainers Scholarships Conferences 3 Division I Non-Football Schools Conferences 4 Division I in Ice Hockey Conferences 5 Classification Debate this level was once called the University Division of the NCAA, in contrast to the lower level college division, these terms were replaced with numeric divisions in 1973. The University Division was renamed Division I, while the College Division was split in two, the College Division members that offered scholarships or wanted to compete against those who did became Division II while those who did not want to offer scholarships became Division III. For the 2014-15 school year, Division I contained 345 of the NCAA's 1,066 member institutions, with 125 in FBS, 125 in FCS, and 95 non-football schools with six additional schools in the transition from Division II to Division I. There was a moratorium on any additional movement up to DI until 2012, after which any school that wants to move to DI must be accepted for membership by a conference and show the NCAA it has the financial ability to support a DI program. Schools must field teams in at least seven sports for men and seven for women or six for men and eight for women, with at least two team sports for each gender. Teams that include both men and women are counted as men's sports for the purposes of sponsorship counting. Division I schools must meet minimum financial aid awards for their athletics program and there are maximum financial aid awards for each sport that a Division I school cannot exceed. Several other NCAA-sanctioned minimums and differences distinguish Division I from Divisions II and III. Members must sponsor at least one team sport for each sex in each playing season, again with coeducational teams counted as men's teams for this purpose. There are contest and participant minimums for each sport, as well as scheduling criteria. For sports other than football and basketball, Division I schools must play 100% of the minimum number of contests against Division I opponents a Euro anything over the minimum number of games has to be 50% Division I men's and women's basketball teams have to play all but two games against Division I teams. For men, they must play one-third of all their contests in the home arena. In addition to the schools that compete fully as DI institutions, the NCAA allows D2 and D3 schools to classify one men's and one women's sport as a DI sport, as long as they sponsored those sports before the latest rules change in 2011. Also, 
Division II schools are eligible to compete for Division I national championships in sports that do not have a Division II national championship, and in those sports may also operate under DI rules and scholarship limits. For football only, Division I was further subdivided in 1978 into Division IA, Division IAA, and Division I. In 2006, Division IA and IAA were renamed Football Bowl Subdivision and Football Championship Subdivision, respectively. FBS teams are allowed a maximum of 85 players receiving athletically based aid per year, with each player allowed to receive up to a full scholarship. FCS teams have the same 85 player limit as FBS teams but are only allowed to give aid equivalent to 63 full scholarships. FCS teams are allowed to award partial scholarships, a practice technically allowed but essentially never used at the FBS level. FBS teams also have to meet minimum game attendance requirements, while FCS teams do not need to meet minimum attendance requirements. Another difference is postseason play. Since 1978, FCS teams have played in the NCAA Division I Football Championship, a playoff tournament to determine a NCAA-sanctioned national champion. Meanwhile, the FBS teams play in bowl games, where various polls rank the number one team after the conclusion of the bowl games. Starting with the 2014 postseason, a four-team playoff called the College Football Playoff replaced the previous one-game championship format. Even so, Division I FBS football is still the only NCAA sport in which a yearly champion is not determined by an NCAA-sanctioned championship event. Division I athletic programs generated $8.7 billion in revenue in the 2009 a Euro 2010 academic year. Men's teams provided 55%, women's teams 15%, and 30% was not categorized by sex or sport. Football and men's basketball are usually a university's only profitable sports and are called revenue sports. The BYU Cougars, for example, in 2009 had revenue of $41 million and expenses of $35 million, resulting in a profit of $5.5 million or about 16% margin. Football and men's basketball were profitable, women's basketball and all other sports were unprofitable. From 2008 to 2012, 205 varsity teams were dropped in NCAA Division IA Euro 72 for women and 133 for men, with men's tennis, gymnastics and wrestling hit particularly hard. In the football bowl subdivision, between 50 and 60 percent of football and men's basketball programs generated positive revenues. However, in the football championship subdivision, only 4% of football and 5% of men's basketball programs generated positive revenues. In 2012, 2% of athletic budgets were spent on equipment, uniforms, and supplies for male athletes at NCAA Division I Football Bowl Subdivision School with the median spending per school at $742,000. In 2014, the NCAA and the student-athletes debated whether student-athletes should be paid. Student-athletes felt their hard work, hours spent on their sport, and the money their sport brings in justify their payment. In April, the NCAA approved students-athletes getting free unlimited meals and snacks. The NCAA stated the adoption of the meals legislation finished a conversation that began in the awards, benefits, expenses, and financial aid cabinet. 
Members have worked to find appropriate ways to ensure student athletes get the nutrition they need without jeopardizing Pell Grants or other federal aid received by the neediest student athletes. With their vote, members of the council said they believe loosening NCAA rules on what and when food can be provided from athletics departments is the best way to address the issue. FBS Conferences FCS Conferences Plus the Ivy League abstains from the championship tournament and all postseason play. Plus plus the MEAC champion, since 2015, forgoes its automatic bid to allow its champion to participate in the Celebration Bowl. Non-champions are eligible for at-large bids. The SWAC abstains from the championship tournament to allow for a longer regular season, an in-conference championship game, and participation in the Celebration Bowl. Beginning 2018, the SWAC will discontinue its championship game and send its regular season champion to the Celebration Bowl freeing up the conference's second-place finisher to accept an at-large bid. Sports are ranked according to total possible scholarships. Scholarship numbers for headcount sports are indicated without a decimal point. Numbers for equivalency sports are indicated with a decimal point, with the trailing zero if needed. Notes the following table lists the men's individual disports with at least 1,000 participating athletes. Sports are ranked by number of athletes. De College Wrestling has lost almost half of its programs since 1982. Notes The following table lists the women's individual disports with at least 1,000 participating athletes. Sports are ranked by number of athletes. NCAA Division I schools have broadcasting contracts that showcase their more popular sports A Euro typically football and MENA Euro trademark S basketball A Euro on network television and in basic cable channels. These contracts can be quite lucrative, particularly for DIS schools from the biggest conferences. For example, the Big Ten Conference in 2016 entered into contracts with Fox and ESPN that pay the conference $2.64 billion over six years. The NCAA also holds certain TV contracts. For example, the NGAA Euro Trademark S contract to show the MENA Euro Trademark S Basketball Championship Tournament is currently under a 14-year deal with CBS and Turner that runs from 2010 to 2024 and pays $11 billion. For the 2014-A Euro 15 fiscal year, the conferences that earned the most revenues were the NCAA has limits on the total financial aid each Division I member may award in each sport that the school sponsors. It divides sports that are sponsored into two types for purposes of scholarship limitations. The term counter is also key to this concept. The NCAA defines a counter as an individual who is receiving institutional financial aid that is countable against the aid limitations in a sport. Football A Euro DI football programs are divided into FBS and FCS. The 128 FBS programs can award financial aid to as many as 85 players, with each player able to receive up to a full scholarship. The 124 FCS programs can award up to the equivalent of 63 full scholarships, divided among no more than 85 individuals. Some FCS conferences restrict scholarships to a lower level or prohibit scholarships altogether. Soccer A Euro the Big 12 and the SEC are the only two major traditional DI conferences that do not sponsor soccer.
Several other DI conferences also do not sponsor the sport a Euro The Big Sky, MEAC, Mountain West, Ohio Valley, Southland, and SWAC, Ice Hockey A Euro Almost all DI ice hockey programs are in the Northeast, the Upper Midwest, or the Colorado Front Range. Only one DI All Sports Conference, the Big Ten, sponsors a men's hockey league. All other conferences operate as hockey-specific leagues. Of the 59 DI hockey schools, 22 are otherwise classified as either D2 or D3. A number of schools from D2 play in DI in ice hockey as the NCAA no longer sponsors a championship in D2 and many have traditional-slash-cultural fan bases that support ice hockey and the D3 schools were grandfathered into DI through their having sponsored hockey prior to the creation of D3, lacrosse a Euro The vast majority of DI lacrosse programs are from the Northeast and Mid-Atlantic. There are only two DI programs west of the Mississippi, both on the Colorado Front Range. Utah is set to become the third DI program west of the Mississippi in the 2019 season, Volleyball A Euro of the traditional DI conferences, only the Big West sponsors men's volleyball, and it did not do so until the 2017 A Euro 18 school year. The other two major volleyball conferences, defined here as leagues that include full Division I members, are volleyball specific conferences. In addition to the DI schools, 26 D2 schools compete in DI Volleyball, 11 of these are members of Conference Carolinas, the only all-sports league outside Division III to sponsor the sport, Water Polo A Euro The number of DI schools sponsoring men's water polo has declined from 35 in 1987-88 to 22 in 2010-11. No school outside of California has ever made the finals of the championship, and all champions since 1998 have come from one of the four California-based Pac-12 schools. As in the men's table above, sports are ranked in order of total possible scholarships. Numbers for headcount sports are indicated without a decimal point. Those for equivalency sports are indicated with a decimal point, with the trailing zero if needed. Women's soccer is the fastest growing NCAA DI women's team sport over a prolonged period, increasing from 22 teams in 1981 82 to 315 teams in 2010 11. However, in recent years, the fastest growing has been beach volleyball which went from 14 Division I teams in 2011 A Euro 12 to 55 in 2016 A Euro 17, A Euro equals in the 2016 A Euro 17 school year, rugby is classified by the NCAA as an emerging sport for women. Beach volleyball, which had previously been an emerging sport under the name of sand volleyball, became an official NCAA championship sport in 2015A Euro 16, asterisk equals the number of scholarships are partially linked for volleyball and beach volleyball. Schools that field both indoor and beach volleyball teams are allowed 6.0 full scholarship equivalents specifically for beach volleyball as of 2016A Euro 17 with the further limitations that no player receiving aid for beach volleyball can be on the indoor volleyball roster and a maximum of 14 individuals can receive aid in beach volleyball. If a school fields only a beach volleyball team, it is allowed 8.0 full scholarship equivalents for that sport, also distributed among no more than 14 individuals. Head Count Sports in which the NCAA limits the total number of individuals that can receive athletic scholarships, but allows each player to receive up to a full scholarship, equivalency sports, 
in which the NCAA limits the total financial aid that a school can offer in a given sport to the equivalent of a set number of full scholarships. Roster limitations may or may not apply, depending on the sport. Anyone who participates in football is counted in that sport, even if he does not receive financial aid from the football program. An exception exists for players at non-scholarship FCS programs who receive aid in another sport, participants in basketball are counted in that sport, unless they also play football, participants in men's ice hockey are counted in that sport, unless they also play football or basketball, participants in both men's swimming and diving and men's water polo are counted in swimming and diving unless they count in football or basketball, participants in women's volleyball are counted in that sport. Unless they also play basketball, all other multi-sport athletes are counted in whichever sport the school chooses. The America East Conference has four football sponsoring schools, all of which play in the Colonial Athletic Association A Euro Albany, Maine, New Hampshire, and Stony Brook. The Atlantic Sun Conference has two members with football programs in the Pioneer Football League. Jacksonville has played in the PFL since 2001. Stetson, which had dropped football in 1956, reinstated varsity football in 2013. A third ASUN member, Kennesaw State, launched an FCS program in 2015 which plays in the Big South Conference. North Alabama, currently in NCAA Division II, will upgrade to Division I sports and join the ASUN in 2018. The football team will play as an FCS independent in 2018 before joining the Big South in 2019. The Atlantic 10 Conference has seven football sponsoring members, Davidson and Dayton play in the PFL, Duquesne plays in the Northeast Conference, Fordham plays in the Patriot League, Rhode Island and Richmond play in the CAA, UMass plays FBS football as an independent. Clarkson University A Euro Men's and Women's Ice Hockey, Colorado College A Euro Men's Ice Hockey, Women's Soccer, Hartwick College A Euro Men's Soccer, Women's Water Polo, Johns Hopkins University A Euro Men's and Women's Lacrosse, Rensselaer Polytechnic Institute A Euro Men's Ice Hockey, Rutgers University A Euro Newark A Euro Men's Volleyball, ST. Lawrence University A Euro Men's and Women's Ice Hockey, SUNY Onionta A Euro Men's Soccer. The number of scholarships that Division I members may award in each sport is listed below. In this table, scholarship numbers for head count sports are indicated without a decimal point, for equivalency sports, they are listed with a decimal point, with a trailing zero if required. The NCAA also has rules specifying the sport in which multi-sport athletes are to be counted, with the basic rules being Subdivisions in Division I exist only in football. In all other sports, all Division I conferences are equivalent. The subdivisions were recently given names to reflect the differing levels of football play in them. The method by which the NCAA determines whether a school is bowl or championship subdivision is first by attendance numbers and then by scholarships. For attendance reporting methods, the NCAA allows schools to report either total tickets sold or the number of persons in attendance at the games. They require a minimum average of 15,000 people in attendance every other year. These numbers get posted to the NCAA statistics website for football each year. With the new rules starting in the 2006 season, the number of bowl subdivision schools could drop in the future if those schools are not able to pull in enough fans into the games. Additionally, 
14 FCS schools had enough attendance to be moved up in 2012. Under current NCAA rules, these schools must have an invitation from an FBS conference in order to move to FBS. Three of Thema Euro Appalachian State, Georgia Southern, and Old Dominion A Euro began FBS transitions in 2013. All had the required FBS conference invitations, with Old Dominion joining Conference USA in 2013, and Appalachian State and Georgia Southern joining the Sun Belt Conference in 2014. The difference in the postseasons in each of the subdivisions grant the FCS an advantage to have the best record in college football history, 17A Euro 0 while the FBS only allows a 1-5-A Euro 0 record. Division I Football Bowl Subdivision, formerly known as Division IA, is the top level of college football. Schools in Division I FBS compete in postseason bowl games, with the champions of five conferences, along with the highest-ranked champion of the other five conferences receiving automatic bids to the access bowls. FBS schools are limited to a total of 85 football players receiving financial assistance. For competitive reasons, a student receiving partial scholarship counts fully against the total of 85. Nearly all FBS schools that are not on NCAA probation give 85 full scholarships. As of the most recently completed 2017 season, there are 129 full members of Division I FBS, with the University of Alabama at Birmingham reinstating a football program that it had dropped after the 2014 season. Two schools, Coastal Carolina University and Liberty University, are at varying stages of the FBS transition process. Coastal began its transition in 2016, when it joined the Sun Belt Conference for non-football sports. In that season, Coastal was classified as an FCS independent, but was ineligible for the FCS playoffs. Coastal joined Sun Belt football for the 2017 season and was counted as an FBS member for scheduling purposes but full FBS membership and bowl eligibility will not come until 2018. Liberty, currently a member of the Big South Conference, began its transition in 2017, it remains in the Big South that season, but is ineligible for the FCS playoffs. The NCAA granted Liberty a waiver from its normal FCS to FBS transition rules requiring that a school have an invitation from an FBS conference to begin the transition, meaning that Liberty will become an FBS independent for scheduling purposes in 2018 and a full FBS member in 2019. Since the 2016 season, all FBS conferences have been allowed to conduct a championship game that does not count against the limit of 12 regular season contests. Under the current rules, such a game can be held either between the winners of each of two divisions, with each team having played a full round-robin schedule within its division, or between the conference's top two teams after a full round-robin conference schedule. Previously. Exempt championship games could only be held by between the divisional winners of conferences that had at least 12 football teams and split into divisions. The prize is normally a specific bowl game bid for which the conference has a tie-in. Some conferences have numbers in their names but this often has no relation to the number of member institutions in the conference. The Big Ten Conference did not formally adopt the Big Ten name until 1987, but unofficially used that name when it had ten members from 1917 to 1946, and again from 1949 forward. However, 
it has continued to use the name even after it expanded to 11 members with the addition of Penn State in 1990, 12 with the addition of Nebraska in 2011, and 14 with the arrival of Maryland and Rutgers in 2014. The Big 12 Conference was established in 1996 with 12 members, but continues to use that name even after a number of departures and a few replacements left the conference with 10 members. On the other hand, the Pac-12 Conference has used names that have reflected the number of members since its current charter was established in 1959. The conference unofficially used Big Five, Big Six, and Pacific Eight before officially adopting the Pacific Eight name. The name duly changed to Pacific Ten in 1978 with the addition of Arizona and Arizona State, and Pac-12 in 2011 when Colorado and Utah joined. Conferences also tend to ignore their regional names when adding new schools. For example, the Pac-8-10-12 retained its Pacific moniker even though its four newest members are located in the Inland West, and the original Big East kept its name even after adding schools located in areas traditionally considered to be in the Midwest, Upper South, and Southwest. The non-football conference that assumed the Big East name when the original Big East split in 2013 is another example of this phenomenon as half of its ten inaugural schools are traditionally regarded as being Midwestern. The Division I Football Championship Subdivision, formerly known as Division IAA, determines its national champion through a 24-team, single-elimination tournament. With the expansion of the tournament field in 2013 from 20 teams to 24, the champions of 11 conferences receive automatic bids, with 13 at-large spots, and the top 8 teams receive first-round buys. A team must have at least 7 wins to be eligible for an at-large spot. The tournament traditionally begins on Thanksgiving weekend in late November, and during the era of the 16-team field ran for 4 weeks ending with the championship game in mid-December. Since 2010, the tournament has run for four weeks to determine the two finalists, who play for the FCS national title in early January in Frisco, Texas, the scheduled host through the 2019 season. For 13 seasons, the title game was played in Chattanooga, Tennessee, preceded by five seasons in Huntington, West Virginia, where host Marshall advanced to the title game in four of the five years. When IAA was formed 40 years ago in 1978, the playoffs included just four teams for its first three seasons, doubling to eight teams for one season in 1981. From 1982 to 1985, IAA had a 12-team tournament, with each of the top four seeds receiving a first-round bye and a home game in the quarterfinals. The IAA playoffs went to 16 teams in 1986, and the FCS playoffs expanded to 20 teams starting in 2010 and to 24 in 2013. After 28 seasons, the IAA was dropped by the NCAA 12 years ago in 2006, although it is still informally and commonly used. The football championship subdivision includes several conferences which do not participate in the eponymous postseason championship tournament. The Ivy League was reclassified to IAA following the 1981 season, and plays a strict 10 game schedule. Although it qualifies for an automatic bid, the Ivy League has not played any postseason games at all since becoming a conference for the 1956 college football season, citing academic concerns. The Southwestern Athletic Conference has its own championship game in mid-December between the champions of its East and West divisions. 
Also, three of its member schools traditionally do not finish their regular seasons until Thanksgiving weekend. Grambling State and Southern play each other in the Bayou Classic, and Alabama State plays Tuskegee in the Turkey Day Classic. SWAC teams are eligible to accept at-large bids if their schedule is not in conflict. The last SWAC team to participate in the IAA playoffs was Jackson State in 1997. The SWAC never achieved success in the tournament, going winless in 19 games in 20 years. It had greater success outside the conference while in Division II and the preceding college division. From 2006 through 2009, the Pioneer Football League and Northeast Conference champions played in the Gridiron Classic. If a league champion was invited to the national championship playoff as an at-large bid, the second-place team would play in the Gridiron Classic. That game was scrapped after the 2009 season when its four-year contract ran out. This coincided with the NCAA's announcement that the Northeast Conference would get an automatic bid to the tournament starting in 2010. The Big South Conference also received an automatic bid in the same season. The Pioneer Football League earned an automatic bid beginning in 2013. The Mid-Eastern Athletic Conference began abstaining from the playoffs with the 2015 season. Like the SWAC, its members are eligible for at-large bids, and the two conferences have faced off in the Celebration Bowl as an alternative postseason game since the 2015 season. Schools in a transition period after joining the FCS from a lower division are also ineligible for the playoffs. Division I FCS schools are currently restricted to giving financial assistance amounting to 63 full scholarships. As FCS football is an equivalency sport, championship subdivision schools may divide their allotment into partial scholarships. However, FCS schools may only have 85 players receiving any sort of athletic financial aid for football a euro the same numeric limit as FBS schools. Because of competitive forces, however, a substantial number of players in championship subdivision programs are on full scholarships. Another difference is that FCS schools no longer have a limit on the number of new players that can be provided with financial aid in a given season, while FBS schools are limited to 25 such additions per season. Finally, FCS schools are limited to 95 individuals participating in pre-season practices, as opposed to 105 at FBS schools. A few championship subdivision conferences are composed of schools that offer no athletic scholarships at all, most notably the Ivy League and the Pioneer Football League, a football-only conference. The Ivy League allows no athletic scholarships at all, while the PFL consists of schools that offer scholarships in other sports but choose not to take on the expense of a scholarship football program. The Northeast Conference also sponsored non-scholarship football, but began offering a maximum of 30 full scholarship equivalents in 2006, which grew to 40 in 2011 after a later vote of the league's school presidents and athletic directors. The Patriot League only began awarding football scholarships in the 2013 season, with the first scholarships awarded only to incoming freshmen. Before the conference began its transition to scholarship football, athletes receiving scholarships in other sports were ineligible to play football for member schools. Since the completion of the transition with the 2016 season, member schools have been allowed up to 60 full scholarship equivalents. Several bowl subdivision and championship subdivision conferences have member institutions that do not compete in football. 
Such schools are sometimes unofficially referred to as IAAA. The following non-football conferences have full members that sponsor football. The following Division I conferences do not sponsor football. These conferences still compete in Division I for all sports that they sponsor. Of these, the three that most recently sponsored football were the Atlantic 10, Mach, and WAC. The A-10 Football League dissolved in 2006 with its members going to the Colonial Athletic Association. In addition, four A-10 schools play football in a conference other than the new CAA, which still includes two full-time A-10 members. The MOC stopped sponsoring football in 2007, after most of its members gradually stopped fielding teams. The only pre-2007 MOC member that still sponsors football is Marist. Monmouth became the second full MOC member with football upon its arrival in 2013. Marist plays in the Pioneer Football League while Monmouth spent the 2013 season as an FCS independent before moving its football program into the Big South. The WAC dropped football at the end of the 2012 season, after a near-complete membership turnover that saw the conference stripped of all but two of its football-sponsoring members. The two remaining football-sponsoring schools, Idaho and New Mexico State, played the 2013 season as FBS independents before becoming football-only members of the Sun Belt Conference in 2014. Some sports, most notably ice hockey and men's volleyball, have completely different conference structures that operate outside of the normal NCAA sports conference structure. As ice hockey is limited to a much smaller number of almost exclusively northern schools, there is a completely different conference structure for teams. These conferences feature a mix of teams that play their other sports in various Division I conferences, and even Division II and Division III schools. For most of the early 21st century, there was no correlation between a team's ice hockey affiliation and its affiliation for other sports, with the exception of the Ivy League's hockey playing schools all being members of the ECAC. For example, before 2013, the Hockey East Men's Conference consisted of one ACC school, one Big East school, four schools from the America East, one from the A-10, one CAA school, and two schools from the D2 Northeast 10 Conference, while the Central Collegiate Hockey Association and Western Collegiate Hockey Association both had some Big Ten representation, plus Division II and three schools. Also, the divisional structure is truncated, with the Division II championship abolished in 1999. The Metro Atlantic Athletic Conference ceased its sponsorship of the sport in 2003, with the remaining members forming Atlantic Hockey. For the next decade, no regular all-sport conferences sponsored ice hockey. Starting with the 2013-A Euro 14 season, Division I men's hockey experienced a major realignment. The Big Ten Conference began to sponsor ice hockey, and their institutions withdrew their membership from the WCHA and CCHA. Additionally, six other schools from those conferences withdrew to form the new National Collegiate Hockey Conference at the same time. The fallout from these moves led to the demise of the CCHA, two more teams entering the NCHC, and further membership turnover in the men's side of the WCHA. Women's hockey was largely unaffected by this realignment. The Big Ten still has only four members with varsity women's hockey, with six teams required under conference bylaws for official sponsorship. As a result, 
the only changes in women's hockey affiliations in the 2010A Euro 14 period occurred in College Hockey America, which saw two schools drop the sport and three new members join. In the early 21st century, a controversy arose in the NCAA over whether schools will continue to be allowed to have one showcased program in Division I with the remainder of the athletic program in a lower division, as is the case of, notably, Johns Hopkins University Lacrosse as well as Colorado College and University of Alabama in Huntsville in ice hockey. This is an especially important issue in hockey which has no Division II national championship and has several schools whose other athletic programs compete in Division II and Division III. This controversy was resolved at the 2004 NCAA convention in Nashville, Tennessee when the members supported Proposal 65-1, the amended legislation CO sponsored by Colorado College, Clarkson University, Hartwick College the Johns Hopkins University, Rensselaer Polytechnic Institute, Rutgers University Euro Newark, St. Lawrence University, and SUNY Onionta. Each school affected by this debate is allowed to grant financial aid to student-athletes who compete in Division I programs in one men's sport and one women's sport. It is still permitted for other schools to place one men's and one women's sport in Division I going forward, but they cannot offer scholarships without bringing the whole program into compliance with Division I rules. In addition, schools in Divisions II and III are allowed to play up in any sport that does not have a championship for the school's own division but only Division II programs and any Division III programs covered by the exemption can offer scholarships in those sports. The Division I programs at each of the eight waiver schools which were grandfathered with the passing of Proposal 65-1 to were